Coming from sport, the idea of being a champion is just so part of our culture, so part of our vernacular. But this book takes a broader approach, and it looks at it from three different perspectives. The first is achievement, and it's based on the premise that whatever we do, we want to do it at the very best that we can do it. The second is leadership. It's about creating the environment for other people to excel and to shine. And finally, it's about legacy, about sustainability, making a positive impact that can live well beyond your years on this planet. So I was really on the front line. And I remember going to the first city, which was St. Petersburg, and getting off the plane, and it felt like the whole Red Army was there to meet us, and everyone was saluting as a few of us IOC members were walking down this red carpet. I thought, holy mackerel, you know, 28-year-old. And I see at the end of the line, there's Boris Yeltsin. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I say to Boris Yeltsin? Luckily, not a thing, because they, they brought a platter, poured us a vodka shot, and I don't usually drink at 10 a.m., but what the hell? <laughs> so, off to a good start. <laughs> at the end of his presentation, we had the audacity, even though we didn't really listen to it, to want our picture taken with him because it's all about the picture with the big celebrity, right? So we lined up in order of, of rank and importance, all 15 of us. We left a spot in the middle for Nelson Mandela, and he kind of watched on the side the whole time, kind of chuckling to himself a little bit and shaking his head. And at the end, when they said, President Mandela, it's now time for you to come in and have your picture taken, he went to the back of the commission line took the 25-year-old secretary from London that was traveling with us, brought her to the front, and put her in the spot saved for him. He went to the very back, took his place beside the second least important person, me. <laughs> wow, you're tall. Anyway. <laughs> My worlds of human rights work, which I spent about 12 years working in, and speaking converged in 2007 when, as you maybe heard in the introduction, I was invited to be the master of ceremonies for the Dalai Lama's appearance in Ottawa. He was supposed to arrive like 30 seconds before he went on stage. So I'm on stage and I'm introducing the, the next act that's to be before him, and it's a dance troupe that dances for about 12 minutes from Tibet. And I hear this commotion behind me. And I turn and I see, it's almost like right here, I just see this little face poke out, this little, and it's the Dalai Lama, <laughs> so, poking out to see the audience. Exemplify excellence. If somebody were to hold a mirror up to you, what would they see? Take time to specifically think how we bring some of those universal basic leadership qualities to life. Show conviction. What gets you passionate about your, what you're doing? And are you spreading it to others? And finally, embrace contradictions. Never say never. A big part of leadership is accepting the nature of paradox, being able to tap in to that idea to find the best way forward in any particular circumstance, even if it appears to contradict what we've done before. The only thing we don't contradict are our values. I look forward to working with you to find which of the 24 great traits are best for you in your organization. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.